Hi, this is Justin from Davis 3D. I'm just going to show you how to do the uh, Ocean Animals Pack Spline system. If you want to learn how to use this, just go to your blueprints and click on one of the blueprints for one of the animals. For example, we can use the dolphin here and just drag it into the level. You position it roughly where you want it to be and then get close to it. You'll see there's these little dots here. You can click on one of these dots and while holding Alt, you can drag the spline node and uh, move it to where you want it to be. You can click one of the other dots and move that to where you want it to be. And when you hold Alt, it just creates a new spline node. You can move that up, down, left, right. And that's how you create a path. If you want to modify the curve of the spline node, you can click these little red dots. And that lets you move them up and down or left and right. Like so. It's good to always have uh, the curves not too sharp because it won't really look very natural if you do that. But uh, once you've created that and you can hit play, you can see the dolphins now swimming around on that spline path. Now, if you click on your dolphin again, over here in the details panel, you can actually see heaps of variables that you can adjust. For example, in the distance panel, you can make that 100. It'll move it 100 units forward on the spline path, or 500 to start in that, this position. You can change the scale of the dolphin. Uh, sometimes there's different material types. Um, there's this option called dynamic speed. What this does is when it plays, it can speed up and slow down randomly which gives it a bit of a more natural movement while it's swimming around. You can see it's swimming fast now. And then it slows down and stops moving. If you turn that off, it will uh, just continuously swim at the same pace without speeding up or slowing down. So there's plenty more here. Um, in the animation palette, you can see the play rate minimum and the play rate maximum. This only really works if the dynamic speed's on, and if you put your mouse over it, you can see that it'll say the minimum rate that the animation will play at. The maximum rate the animation will play at. If you put your mouse over any of these, it'll tell you what it will do. So, um, if we want to make the minimum play rate while the dynamic speed is turned on to be 10 and the maximum play rate to 20, you can see that it's going to be swimming really, really fast. Uh, well, the animation will play really fast, but the movement will stay the same. If you want to change the movement speed, you can change this to like 20, 50. And now it's going to be moving really fast. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit too fast. So there you have it. That's a quick rundown on how to do the animals. I'll um, quickly populate a few more animals just to show you how cool this system is. I'll just grab this shark here. And we'll grab a little manta ray. And we got a giant squid. And there you have it. 